Well, we will be removing the mask mandate uh, in our schools and in our uh, public indoor spaces uh, as of Monday, March 21st. Governor Jay Inslee announcing the forthcoming end of Washington's indoor mask mandate, one of the last states to do so. The decision, he says, is based on State Department of Health data. It shows case numbers and hospitalizations are declining. I think we have a responsibility now over the next few weeks to really move this forward. Clark County Health Officer Dr. Alan Melnick is optimistic that the numbers will be there by March 21st. In Clark County, our our case rate is still high. It's still double what it was at the peak of the Delta surge, but it's less than half of it what, of what it was a few weeks ago. So it's dropping pretty quickly and it's dropping across the state. When the indoor mask mandate ends, there will be exceptions. Masks must still be worn in medical facilities, school buses, and public transit. Also, businesses or governments can continue to require masks. Also, health officials stress, Lifting the state mask mandate doesn't mean people can't still wear one when appropriate. They also hope people will continue observing physical distancing and get a booster shot. Governor Kate Brown announced Oregon would remove its indoor mask mandate by March 31st at the latest. It depends in large part on hospitalization rates. The numbers peaked about two weeks ago and this week declined dramatically. I'm really encouraged by what I'm seeing. Dr. Uh, Peter Graven is director of the Office of Advanced uh, Analytics at OHSU. This is his hundredth week developing COVID-19 forecasts. He's especially encouraged by this one when it comes to hospitalizations. And I do think we'll, we'll continue to see a decline. Um, you know, I know the state is looking at a number around 400. Um, we thought we'd be at that number around the end of March. It looks like we may get there a couple of weeks earlier than that. To that end, doctors say COVID variants are still unpredictable. God forbid, you know, we, you know, six months ago, I'd never heard of Omicron. Even so, healthcare providers are becoming better at responding to variants. In the meantime, there's hope. I think just if we can hang tight a little bit longer on, on some of those key behavior metrics um, into March, I think we'll be in good shape for April, May and the summer to be uh, to be ones where hopefully we don't have to worry too much about COVID at all. Catherine Cook, KGW News.